Welcome to our lecture online. I think it's a good idea that we try a few more examples using a deck of cards and we're going to add some additional restrictions starting with this one. Here we're still going to pick five cards out of a deck of 52 cards but the restriction is that the first card must be an ace. No restrictions on the remainder of the cards. So how many, and again, since the order doesn't matter, we're looking for the number of combinations. So in this case, we're looking for the number of combinations, and that's going to be the number of combinations for the first card, and the number of combinations for cards two through five for the next four cards. That's kind of a, a quickie way to write the, what we're trying to do here. So the number of combinations for the first card, since it must be an ace and there's only four aces, that's going to be equal to 4, 1, like this. There's four aces, and we're going to pick one of them. Now, since there's no restrictions on the remainder of the cards, the remaining three aces can still be picked for the next four cards. That means there's now 51 cards left, and we're picking four cards out of those 51. So that's how we're going to uh, figure this out. Now, notice, don't get confused with this, it's just kind of a, a way to simply write for the first card, we have a certain number of combinations, and this is how we're going to figure that out. And for the next four cards from two to five, we're going to figure out how many combinations using that equation. The general equation, of course, I didn't put it on there. The general equation is that the number of combinations of n and r is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial, like this times 1 over r factorial. Let me write that a little bit better. There we go. So that's the equation for one of these. So this will be equal to, notice we have n factorial, so 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 1 factorial times 1 over 1 factorial. And we're going to multiply that times, here we have 51 factorial divided by 51 minus 4 factorial times 1 over 4 factorial. So that's how we calculate the combinations of each of those factors. So this is fairly straightforward. This is equal to 4 factorial divided by 3 factorial, and of course 1 factorial is 1. And we're going to multiply that times. Here we have 51 factorial divided by 51 minus 4, which is 47 factorial times 1 over 4 factorial. Simplifying this a little bit more, 4 factorial divided by 3 factorial is simply 4, multiply times, here we get 51 times 50 times 49 times 48, and 4 factorial, that's 1 over 24, because 4 factorial is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4. Notice that this is in the denominator, that will cancel out with the 48 there, that becomes a 2, and then we just need a calculator to figure out that product. So 2 times 4 is 8 times 51 times 50 times 49 and we get 999,600 different combinations of hands that we can have if you require that the first card you pull is an ace and then the other four cards can be whatever they need to be. So that went from over 2 million to less than 1 million just by putting on that one extra restriction. And that is how it's done. It's kind of fun, huh?